you think life is going to run smooth for you, then you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place because this life is a test. This life will present you with hardships. This life will present you with calamities. It will catch you on the blind side. It will take away the people you love. And it will probably sometimes break your mind, break your heart, break your spirit, or maybe break your body, or maybe take away your child, or your parent, or your spouse. Or it may be present you with something unimaginable, extremely painful. And there's nothing strange about life there because that's what life is about. And the point is not how life treats you. The real point is about how you respond to whatever comes your way. That's the real challenge of life. The Prophet ﷺ lost loved ones. He himself was physically attacked, mentally attacked. He was tortured. He was ostracized. He was villainized. His reputation was tarnished. He was attacked in himself, in his family, in his companions. His life was at risk every day. And he went through so many calamities. Yet his response was always one of trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keeping his head up. Knowing that it's not the end. Because that's the nature of life. Not expecting anything different from it. One day the Prophet ﷺ, upon an invitation from some of the tribes in the area of Najd, in the middle of the Arabian Peninsula, from the tribe of Ghatafan. Some of them sent to the Prophet ﷺ and they said, you know, there are people interested in Islam among us. We want you to send a group of your companions to teach them Islam. Tell them about Islam and they can even call to Islam in our tribe and we will protect them. We don't have a problem with that. The Prophet ﷺ sent 70 of the great companions, 70 of the Ansar, and their name was Al Qurra. They were named Al Qurra, the reciters of the Quran. These are people who used to learn Quran and teach Quran day and night, and they used to look after the poor companions. They used to work hard and and bring and make money and provide food for the poorer Muslims in Medina. So when 70 of them were sent, they were set up and they were captured and they were attacked in the middle of the desert by a group of people and they were killed all of them all of them when the prophet ﷺ heard about that he made dua which we call unutul nawazin he made the dua at the at the last rak'ah of every salah in jama'ah calling upon those people but he never lost faith he never lost balance he never complained oh allah why does this happen to us he dealt with it. These are facts. These are realities. That's life and we just have to do. 